Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is a speed and RAM management test between the Huawei Y9s and Redmi Note 8 Pro. Both of these actually have 6 gigs of RAM in common. Let's take a look at all the relevant specs for this test and start with the boot up test. The Note 8 Pro booted up first in 20 seconds with the Y9s coming in 3 seconds later. I closed all the running apps before this test. Let's begin with Twitter. Instagram Facebook Snapchat Play Store YouTube and Tutu We get way higher and Tutu scores on the Redmi Note 8 Pro Geekbench we get higher single and multi-core scores on here too. Skipping the games row for now, Snapseed, Camera, Messages, Settings, Speed Test. Tested both on the same network and we get higher download speeds on the Y9S and higher upload speeds on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Lightroom. And now let's see the RAM performance. Both kept Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram in memory. Redmi closed Snapchat. Both kept Play Store in memory. Redmi closed YouTube. Both kept Antutu in memory. While Redmi closed Geekbench or glitched out as the case may be. Both kept Snapseed in memory. Redmi closed the camera. Both kept messages and settings in memory. Redmi closed speed test and Lightroom. And now let's open up some games. Let's begin with Smash Hit. Pop G. Subway Surf. Temple Run 2 Let's see if they both kept all 4 games running. In real life usage, you may not notice the difference while running light apps, but this test doesn't really tell the story of how much more powerful the Helio G90T processor on the Redmi Note 8 Pro actually is, especially for those who love gaming heavily. If you haven't seen my full review, I'll be leaving a link to it up above or somewhere down below. On the flip side, the Huawei Y9S's RAM management is exceptional. I opened one of these games the following day and saw that it did not reload after running in the background for more than 12 hours. It's definitely more than I expected from 6 gigs of RAM. Also RAM management isn't MIUI's strongest suit no matter how much RAM you have. This may change in the future, so yeah. If you wish to see a camera comparison between them, do let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Please subscribe for more videos like this as it will mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next one. Peace.